Segment Routing Introduction Segment routing is a network technology that provides source routing. A node steers a packet through an ordered list of instructions, called segments. The segment is an identifier for any type of instruction. It can be topological or service-based. The beauty of segment routing is that we can apply to the MPLS architecture with no change on the forwarding plane. A segment is encoded as an MPLS label. An ordered list of segments is encoded as a stack of labels. Segment routing reuses the MPLS data plane without any changes. All the segments are represented as MPLS labels. It is applicable to both IPv4 and IPv6 data plane. There are two types of segment IDs for segment routing. Global segment and local segment. Let's describe the global segment. Any node in the segment routing domain understands the instruction associated with a global segment. Any node in the domain installs the related instruction and its forwarding information base or FIB. Global segments is in the subspace of the segment space, called the segment routing global block, or SRGB. The SRGB range is between 16,000 to 23,999. All the nodes in a network are allocated the same SRGB. This stipulation is essential to fulfilling the requirement for operational simplification. Please pay attention that the use of a standard SRGB in all nodes is not a requirement. Local segment. The instruction associated with a local segment is supported by only the node originating it. No other node installs a remote local segment in its FIB. Now I want to explain three more segment type. A node segment is associated with a node in the SR network and globally known within the network. It represents the ECMP aware shortest path to the node. A node segment is a segment allocated to a loopback that identifies a specific node. A prefix SID represents the ECMP aware IGP shortest path to the prefix, which is attached to one or more nodes in the network. An adjacency segment is associated with an adjacency on a router. It is locally significant, is a local segment signaled by ISIS or OSPF, it is used to steer traffic onto an adjacency or a set of adjacencies. Segment Routing Control Plane The job of the SR control plane is to set up the MPLS forwarding table on each router in such a way to allow this to happen. Extensions to both ISIS and OSPF protocols have been made to support segment routing. ISIS TLV extensions have been implemented for segment routing support in ISIS. OSPF extensions have been implemented to support segment routing. In OSPF, new opaque LSA can advertise any additional attributes associated with a prefix or link using new TLV and sub-TLV for segment routing. Segment routing advantages. Segment routing enables a unified, end-to-end, policy-aware network architecture, from servers in the data center, through the white area network, and up to the aggregation. Benefits of SR are related to operational simplicity, better scale and better utilization of the installed infrastructure. SR is designed for SDN because it seeks the proper balance between distributed intelligence, centralized optimization, and application-based policy creation. This was a short lesson about segment routing. In the next video, we will jump into the segment routing lab and we do different scenarios and practice the concept.